Hello, how do you solve this exponential problem? This is negative 5 to the power of t equals 5. We are solving for the value of t that will satisfy this equation. We are going to make use of two different methods. So let's start with the first method. Here is negative 5. So I can replace this negative 5 with this is negative 4 times 5. So negative 5 is negative 1 times 5. So I have it as this is negative 1 times 5 raised to the power of t. And this equals 5. Now, let's consider this complex identity. If I have square root of negative 1, this equals i. Now, if I take the squares of both of these, that means the square root will eliminate the square here. So I have negative 1 is the same thing as having i raised to the power of 2. So because of that, I'm going to replace this negative 1 here with i power 2, which is the same thing as negative 1. So I have this is i to the power of 2 times 5 raised to the power of t, and this equals 5. Now, what I'm going to do again is to make use of log. So I have log of i to the power of 2 times 5 raised to the power of t equals log 5. So from here, what I'm going to do is to apply the logarithm property. If you have log a power b, this equals b times log a. So I can apply this property right here. That means the t will come behind the log. So I'm going to have t times log i power 2 times 5. And this equals log 5. So from here, I can decide to apply this logarithm property. If I have log a times b, this equals log a plus log b. So applying that property right here, I'm going to have this is t times this is log i power 2 plus log 5. I'm just applying this property right here. And this equals log 5. So we are going to isolate t. That means I'm going to divide this by log i power 2 plus log 5 and divide this by log i power 2 plus log 5. So let's eliminate this. What I'm going to have will be t. I have my t equals log 5 divided by this is log i power 2 plus log 5. So, we still can apply this logarithm property. Log a to the power of b equals b times log a. I can apply this right here. So, what I'm going to have is t equals log 5 divided by 2 log i plus log 5. So, that is it. Our answer using this particular method. Now, let's consider the second method. So we are going to have the same question again. This is negative 5 to the power of t equals 5. Now, what we are going to do will be, obviously the first step will be the same. I'm going to replace this negative 5 as product of negative 1 and 5. So I have negative 1 times 5 raised to the power of t, and this equals 5. Then, what I'm going to do differently will be to apply this identity. If you have a times b raised to the power of c, this equals a power c times b power c. So I'm going to distribute this exponent to each of the terms inside the bracket. So I'm going to have 
negative 1 to the power of t times 5 to the power of t, and this equals 5. So from here, what I'm going to do will be to apply this Euler's identity. If I have e power i times pi plus 1, this equals 0. I can decide to take this one over here. Then I'm going to have e power i times pi equals negative 1. That means negative 1 equals e power i times pi. Then I come over to where I have negative 1. I'm going to replace this with this e power i times pi. So this equation becomes, instead of writing negative 1 here, I have e power i times pi, and there's t here. This is raised to the power of t times 5 power t, and this equals 5. So from here, we can apply this identity, a power n raised to the power of n equals a power n times n. I can apply this identity right here. That means I'm going to multiply this exponent. So we are going to have e power i times pi times t times 5 to the power of t, and this equals 5. Now, the next step will be for us to apply natural log. I have ln of e power i times pi times t times 5 power t equals ln 5. Now, if you have ln of a times b, this equals ln a plus ln b. So this simply means the property of logarithm can be applied to natural log. So this is natural log. So we apply this property right here. That means we are going to have this, this is ln of e power i times pi times t plus ln of 5 power t equals ln 5. Now also, if you have ln of a power b, this equals b times ln a. So using that identity, that means i pi t will come behind this, and also t will come behind this. So I'm going to have i times pi times t times ln e plus t times ln 5 equals ln 5. Now, it is worthy to note that ln always cancel e. So ln of e is 1, so I have i times pi times t plus t times ln 5, this is t ln 5 equals ln 5. So what this simply means is that I can factor out t. There's t here, there's t here. So I can factor out t. I have t times, this is i times pi plus ln 5. I have ln 5, this equals ln 5. So solving for t, I can isolate this t by dividing this by i times pi plus ln 5, and also dividing this by i times pi plus ln 5. So what happened here is that, is cancel this. So what we are going to have will be t, the t we have here, that is t equals ln 5 divided by i times pi plus ln 5. So, this is also another solution that we have. So, have this, and this is for this method, and also remember the one that we had using the first method, which is this. So, any of this is obviously very correct. You can solve it, any of these methods, they're obviously very correct. So, that is it. Thank you, and goodbye.